Hey fellow gliders, welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at a new feature in Glide called Multiple Filters. This has been a feature request for quite a while now and it's going to save us a bunch of time because we're not going to have to create these custom filters anymore if you wanted to leverage this native feature within Glide. So the first thing you have to do is head over to your team folder. Currently it's in previews, so you'll hit previews and make sure multiple filters is toggled on. Afterwards, you're going to visit your app and now in any collection, you're able to enable multiple filters. What does that mean? So now we can find a collection. In this case, I have a collection of food. This collection of food is already being grouped by a certain category. But maybe we want to filter by this category as well, as well as filter by some of the other criteria. So now when you go to the options inside of your component, you'll see there's a new section called in-app filter. And by selecting add filter, now you can specify which column you want to filter by and you can give that column a grouping. Let's take a look at this. So maybe I want to filter by this category as well. So I can select here the category column and it's going to automatically set the filter grouping by that column name. And now you can see at the top of your collection, at the top right hand corner here next to the search bar, there's now a filter drop down. Upon selecting that drop down, you can see now that you can filter your collection by any of the values that appear in that category column. And that category column is collapsible, which is pretty cool that the Glide built out that UI as such. And so here, if I want to filter as just the appetizers, I can select appetizer and you see that the appetizer is the only one that's viewing now. And you can see that I have one filter enabled on this collection. In mobile view, it looks very similar, except it doesn't say filter or the number, but you can see the little indicator that you are filtering this collection. And so clicking on that drop down opens up a slide in view of your filter screen. And here you can toggle any of your filters off, which is nice is you can filter by more than one thing. So if I select three different categories, those are the three categories that I'll see. And if I want to clear all of my categories at once, Glide does give us that UI to clear all of the filters. And then you can hit done to close down that overlay. So that alone is actually pretty cool, but Glide gives us the ability to have multiple filters. So maybe we want to filter by category, but maybe we also want to filter by tag. So in this case, I do have these tags for each of the items in our menu. These tags were generated using OpenAI, and then I forced them to be lowercase using a lowercase text column. Now, if I wanted to make all of these tags filters as well, there's one more step we have to do. Here's some magic. So if I were to just make this comma separated list one of the filters, it's going to be pretty ugly. Let me show you what I mean here. So I'm going to go ahead and add a filter here. We're going to say these tags, and you see it again, it automatically places the column name as the grouping, but I'll just rename it as tags. And so now if I were to go ahead and view my filter, you see these tags look really ugly, right? Because it's just the raw comma separated value. But really I want each of these to be its own filter with inside of tags. So here's the trick. In your data section, you're gonna go find your comma separated list of tags. And then you're gonna split them using a split text column. So I'm going to add a column to the right. I'm going to say split tags. Use a split text column. Other. Split text. And the text I'm going to split is my tags lower. All right, so now it took that CSV of items and created an array of those items. And you can select this array as the filter in your in-app filtering. So I'm going to come back over here and replace tags with the split tags. And now watch, when I click on filter under tags, right, we see that all of those individual tags right, now have their own line. So if I wanna see which ones have onion, I can select onion, and I guess just this one has onion. <laughs> uh, how about mustard, all right? So I guess OpenAI was very, very specific and didn't have very many. Oh, there we go. Okay. So here I have under the served tag, uh, you have some, you have three different options here. All right. So you get the idea. Kind of a silly example um, using OpenAI tagging, but you see the power that you can now include an array of items as one of your in-app filters for your multiple filtering.
So hopefully you found this video instructive and now you can leverage multiple filters in your own app. If you have any questions at all, feel free to leave me a comment below. You can also reach out to me at Twitter at rpetito. And as always, thanks for watching.